Hey guys, it's Helping with Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an intro 20th Century Fox intro. So to do this, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download Blender. Alright, so to do this, it's really easy, I'll put the link in the description which is over there on the right, where it says more info, and you're going to go to the link where it says like blender.com, and you're going to download it. And once you have it downloaded, uh, you'll have to download this right here which is the actual introduction file so that pretty much gives you when you click on it it opens up the fox thing so you can put your letters on, in it and customize it however you guys want to and one other thing if blender isn't working then when you first start downloading it you will have to download another add-on but now let's get right into this so once you have both of those things downloaded you're gonna go into blender.com and you're gonna right click on the TH over here, you guys will have a TH, and you're just gonna click tab after that, and you're gonna delete it. And then once you're done that, you're gonna click on your 20. So right click on the 20. You're gonna click tab on the keyboard, TAB, and you're gonna delete. And then you can put in whatever you want. So I'm gonna put in helping because that's and then uh, you're going to click tab once you've typed in whatever you want to and then it should appear up like that it, it will be a little bit big if it's a lot of letters but uh, you can change that in a second and one other thing I'm going to want to go back into changing it I do recommend you guys make everything capitalized alright so helping all capitals that way you don't have uh, like the P going down into the century and stuff like that so once you've uh, changed the first thing, you're gonna resize it. So on the red little line, you're gonna pull it in a bit until you get the right size of where you want the sides to end up. So as you can see, it is being leggy right now, but I think it looks good right about. Oh, that's way too much. That's pretty good right there and uh, since there is a little bit of a space on the left side you're gonna want to click tab again want to go all the way out back if there's a little bit of a space and you just can click spacebar and there we go it's even on the sides and then once you've done that click tab and you're going to want to resize the helping or whatever you guys made it say you're going to want to make it down to let's say there so that looks pretty good so I'm going to stop it there and once you've done that you're going to right click on century and you're going to make that say whatever you guys want to so I'm going to make it say width so right click on it and then press tab you can do the same thing with all of them so w-i-t-h click tab I might want to make it a little bit wider just so it looks a little bit better there we go and last but not least, of course, you're going to change the fox. So right click on fox, press tab, and change it to whatever you want. So I'm going to make mine tech, because that's my YouTube channel. And it looks pretty good already. I don't need to uh, change the size, I don't think. Yep, yeah, that looks pretty good. So now that I'm done editing that, all you have to do is save it. So you're going to go over here to the bottom right corner you're gonna click on pal alright and then what you're gonna do is change the JPEG file to another file uh, I recommend you guys use um, where is it here I recommend you guys use uh, QuickTime right here I recommend you guys use QuickTime alright and now that you've done QuickTime, you're going to change the size, alright? So, so here it is up here. That should pop up. 
and you just click OK. And then you're going to want to change the size right here where it says size X. You're going to click. And you're going to make it size 600, alright? And you're going to want to make the size Y 600 as well. So let's make that 600. And now let's make size Y 600 as well. So 600 by 600, that should be good. Now once you have both of those done, you're going to uh, hold control and you're going to hold F14. So that's control, or sorry, control and F12. You're going to click control and F12, hold them both at the same time, and that will render it, which is, pretty, which is saving it onto your computer. So thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later.